okay, I just left an interview at this place. This guy works out of his house. Look at this. This is in the paper. Monday. I called a bunch of jobs on Monday and had an interview here. I didn't leave my house for two days because I have no gas money. Right? So come here on Wednesday, Little York Road, wrote down all the directions and everything. Call the guy because I was going in the country. Oh, yeah, we work out of our house. I talked to him Monday and said, sir, you know, how does the pay work? Because I don't want to waste your time on mine. I'm a commission only. I'm real estate looking for an extra job, you know, trying to make ends meet here because I'm broke. And he goes, oh, yeah, you stop making money, you know, like, you know, for each each one you get money as you learn. Well, I get here after driving and spending $15 in gas. <laughs> the guy is like, oh, no. I didn't meet the guy I talked to on the phone, of course. Didn't meet to him. Met the guy that is telling me the real deal. And why couldn't the guy just be honest with me to begin with? You know, I can't even afford to look for a damn job. I just spent $15 in gas driving to this one. You know what they do? This company, what they do? They plant exteriors. This is what the guy just told me they did. Not the owner, but the guy just told me. And I asked him, I said, you know what? <laughs> Please give me some gas money to get here. Else I'm doing a video about this bullshit on YouTube. How are people supposed to survive when they got to drive to look for a job? They got to drive to an interview. If you don't have any money, how are you supposed to do this? I just called my sister last night to ask her. I'm just a little pissed. Just ask her to please loan me a few hundred dollars because my real estate license is going to be suspended because I got to pay my bill. She said, you know what? You forget real estate and get three, two or three, eight dollar an hour jobs. You don't even get it, I tell her. You don't even get it. You got to drive everywhere to get a job. You got to drive to work. And when they take out taxes, what's eight dollars an hour? How can you even survive on eight dollars an hour? I just I'm just driven in DFE, well, it's not, I mean, this is not really in the country, it's just a long road, Little York Road, really long, I'm like, <laughs> I was thinking it was Little York Road and Dixie, I, I cannot believe this, I cannot believe this, wow, what, why don't people tell you the truth, it's so annoying, you know, I've talked to a bunch of people in the past, half a day here because I just found out yesterday that I have till tomorrow to pay my bill. Well, luckily, the Board of Realtors was nice and I gave them $20 today and they're going to wait till next week. And hopefully, I sell a lot of stuff in my garage sale. I really need to sell stuff in this garage sale. Stop tomorrow. But I can't believe this guy lied to me. Look, 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 look where I'm driving. I'm driving like way out of the city down this Little York Road. I called him twice. Like, hello. I'm like off Little York Road. Are, are you sure I'm going the right way? And uh, I said, yep, yep. I, I woke out of my house. He didn't tell me that on Monday. So, you know, maybe if the guy would have been up front in the beginning, I wouldn't be making this video because I wouldn't be upset because I wouldn't have wasted money driving to his house in the country to find out that it's not even the same pay he told me about. And the guy's like, oh, yeah, what you do, you go to people's houses that have had storm damage, like in Enon or different places that have had storms, and then you ask them to file a, ta a claim. This guy's company is asking their homeowners to file a claim. So I was like, okay, so then how do I get paid? Well, well you should start getting paid in about a month. <laughs> I can sell a house today and get paid in about a month. That's like the same as real estate. Wow. I, I'm going to Frishies. <laughs> I'm going to Frishies. It's a work not to eat. I don't have any money to eat. Work somewhere that sells food, then you can eat on your lunch break. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, anyway. Oh, back to the people I was talking to. I was talking to people that I've known, like, back in the day and where I used to live. And, well, some places I used to live. And just, just people I've known for a long time. And everybody I know is in the same, same kind of boat. Then people I know, people I sold a house to 12 years ago, they're behind on their mortgage. People that lived in the house for 49 years, they got predatory lender uh, refinancing, and they're maybe leaving the house. I mean, this is the house that had my wedding reception in it, like 1985. I, I cannot believe you that these people are possibly losing the house. It's, it's bad. It's bad. Have you noticed how people are driving around with dents and bumps and stuff in their car? Because no one can afford the deductible. There is, there is this big gap.
which reads, all working class people, like, ask everyone that's, like, having a hard time, and then people that still have these corporate jobs, or government jobs, or military jobs, which is government too, but, you know, all those people don't have to worry about how to put food on the table, whether they have gas for the car. Look, I'm, I'm almost on empty. I'm almost on freaking empty. Time for this interview, I swear to God. Oh, I, I'm going to shut up because people don't think I'm crazy. Well, wouldn't you be crazy if you had to deal with this crap? We all have to deal with this crap. That's why all the little people are going crazy because we can't deal with it anymore. It's just driving us nuts. We can't even get a job because we have to drive all over the country to find one. <laughs> wow.